Okay, I'm going to be looking at the Bodolin uh, ProScope camera, uh, the same cameras that seem to be used in the uh, CSI uh, TV franchises. Um, you, you're looking at the screen of my computer now, but basically the camera can be plugged into any USB port, either on the docking station or on the computer. I suggest we just leave them plugged in uh, in the labs normally, but if it's not plugged in, you can plug it into any USB port. Uh, I go to the start menu and uh, ProScope HR, that's the program, it's there because I've used it frequently. But uh, if you want to find it for the first time, it's all programs, hardware, and there it is, ProScope HR. Just a moment for the program to load up. The camera right now is um, above a piece of um, uh, universal indicator pH paper on a ceramic slide. Uh, I've got 1M hydrochloric acid and uh, this isn't a substitute for students doing a practical but say in a content lesson or you introduce uh, indicator paper and you just all want to familiarize students as to the color change. Okay now this is on my computer screen it's also on the interactive whiteboard and everybody in the room um, can see this. Now just to look at a few of the settings in the software, at the top it says still image. So if I click capture, I've now taken a photograph of what we see in front of us. You can also use this to take videos or to do time-lapse photography taking uh, a picture every few seconds or minutes, every few hours, over a longer period of time. Over in preferences we have the camera settings. Now the trick here is to go for the highest resolution. Okay, that improves the quality drastically and uh, our computers are more than capable of handling it. Um, frame rate would only apply to the time-lapse photography and uh, I haven't got the fluorescent lights on so I've set the light source to daylight. Uh, if you don't want to think about that you can put it on auto and let the software figure out what to do. Um, if I go just to still image here here's the picture that I just took. Little folder here next to the pictures you click save as and then you can save the picture that you've just taken for demonstration purposes I'll save it onto my desktop I'll call it uh, PH and I'll save now going to my desktop there is the uh, image and uh, I could use that however I wanted, open it up in another lesson, uh, share it on the internet, post it onto the uh, science department uh, Facebook page, etc, etc. One last thing with the camera, there is a button for switching it on. You switch it to A or B, A means that the, uh, the light in the camera is off, B means that the light is uh, switched on and the software just uh, adjusts to the different lighting conditions automatically. That's just something you need to play around with. And uh, last but not least, you can maximize and go into uh, whole screen.